Okay, so I'm going to try to compile GUVC view, and I'll tell you one thing that I find problematic about SUSE is even though, you know, you've been using it for, if you've used it for a while, you'll be familiar with the names they decide to use for the packages you want to install. Uh, you'll, you'll have a familiarity with it, and you'll know what you need to do, but if you haven't been using it for a while, they aren't necessarily going to use the name that everybody else calls it by, so... Okay, first of all, I've downloaded that, I've unzipped the package by using ARC. And I'll, I'll get to that point that I was just making as I go along here. You'll see it, I think. And then I'll go CD, G, yeah, I'll have to just type G and tab went there. Now the first step is to configure your package. And what configure does, it checks to see if you have all the stuff you need to build this package. And it's telling me that I don't have GDK+, Glib, Gthread, GDK, SDL, Port Audio, uh, Video for Linux 2 Library, LibAV Codec, and Library Paint PNG. Okay, so now I'm going to go into YAST. It's a very odd name. I don't want to do that. I'm going to go to software management. Wobble, wobble, wobble. And this is another thing I can't stand. Every time I go in here, in Ubuntu, I would have my package already installed or on the way to being installed before this refresh is even done. So what packages am I looking for? This compiler is telling me that I need Gthread. Let's find it. Let's see if I can find it. No results. How about just Gthread? Well, I have library Gthread, so what's the problem? Why is this not working? Um, I do not know. The file list is user lib64, and I bet you that that is not pathed. So I'm going to show my hidden files. And here's my profile file. And that's where you set your path like you do in, um, in the old days when you used DOS. You had to say where you want <coughs> stuff to, uh, to land. Now, now, there's also a file called etc. profile. And if you edit etc. profile, it does it for everybody rather than just yourself. That may be a better choice, but you have to be root to do that, whereas with this, you can just add what you want. Now, I haven't taken any measures to allow myself to log in as root in KD3. I know by default KD3 won't, KD4 won't allow you to log in as root. And so that'll take at least two minutes of camera time or... or, or I could decide I'm going to add to my path user lib64. Now I'm betting on the fact that I think that the other profile file doesn't have this, but I'm going to check. So I'm going to go up. Again, programs are the behavior programs are defined by text files. Files are found in the etc. directory. You are correct, sir. So where's my pro file? There it is. There's the master profile file. And it's got a bunch of stuff in there, but I'm looking for the word path. P-A-T-H. 